So you've built a mobile app, and the stakeholders think it's ready for prime time. Now you have to get it in the hands of your users. You could go the App Store route, but as anyone who's been through the process knows, preparing an app for the Android or iOS app stores isn't always a walk in the park. But with support for progressive web app distribution, an OutSystems mobile app gives you an easier way to get your app into the hands of your users without the time-consuming App Store approval process. Best of all, it's easy. Find out just how easy in this episode of Decoded Quick Hits. Deployment isn't exactly the most enjoyable aspect of mobile app development. For those who choose the App Store path, this often means maintaining multiple machines with special configurations to create the native app packages, staying on top of rapidly changing App Store policies and requirements, and responding to unexpected rejections, a process that can delay your app deployment by days or weeks. OutSystems mobile app build service can help reduce the pain of building native app packages by providing a cloud-based environment that you configure once for a given Android or iOS target environment, and then automatically generate the app packages each time you publish. But the configuration still takes time. Depending on the environment, that may be as little as 30 minutes, but can take longer if you have to create developer accounts. And while Mabs helps a lot in streamlining the creation of native app packages, you can still encounter delays and frustrations if you run into App Store rejections. Another option might be to run the app in a mobile browser, and that may be an option for some use cases. But running in a browser requires users to remember the URL for the app and doesn't provide access to a range of capabilities, including access to device hardware for things like camera and location or offline capabilities. So where does that leave us? With PWA, or progressive web applications, a PWA can be added to the device's home screen for easier access and provides many of the benefits of a native mobile app, including access to specific classes of device hardware, as well as support for running offline with a simple and lightweight installation experience. Let's look at an example. In our previous episode, I demonstrated how to build a simple mobile app to allow remote employees to report on equipment they're using from home, using MongoDB as a backend for storing the data. Since then, I've updated the application based on stakeholder feedback to add a little more polish, and most importantly, to provide the ability for the user to take a photo of the equipment they're reporting on and save it to the application. While we won't dive deep into this functionality, for those interested, I implemented this functionality using the camera plugin from The Forge, which supports both standard mobile app packaging as well as PWA to capture the photos using the device camera. And then I store the resulting photo in the AWS S3 service using the Amazon S3 connector from The Forge. The image is then displayed using a URL provided by S3, which is also stored in the MongoDB database alongside the rest of the item information. This is still a very simple application, but it does have one requirement that eliminates the ability to run it in the browser, namely the camera access. As I mentioned previously, the mobile app build service is a great way to streamline the creation of native app packages. When you need the highest level of access to device hardware, or you need to deploy your apps through the Google Play and iOS app store. In the simplest scenario shown here, creating a debug build for Android, you need to create a key store and configure the app to use the key store, key store password, and the alias and alias password before you can generate a native app package with Mabs. This requires having, an, having access to a Java installation to generate the key store. Assuming no typos or mistakes during configuration, you could probably get this done in a half hour or so. Now this is a whole lot better than the time it would take to set up a machine to build an app, Android app package from scratch, but we can do it much faster with PWA. To get an idea of how much time you can save, I'll start a 30-minute countdown and show you how long it takes to deploy and test an app as a PWA using OutSystems, starting now. As it happens, the Distribute tab, where you can configure the settings for Mabs, is also where you can configure your app to run as a PWA. I'll just toggle a switch here, and done. That's all I need to do. Yes, if I wanted to, I could customize the look and feel of the installed app by customizing the manifest and even add a custom service worker, but that's beyond the scope of this video. With PWA distribution enabled, 
Installing my and testing my app is as simple as scanning the generated QR code and then using the platform specific feature to install the app to the home screen. On Android, users are automatically prompted that they can install the app. While in iOS, installing a PWA is found under the share menu. Note that depending on your version of iOS, you might need to open the app in Safari as the built-in QR code reader may default to opening the app in a web view rather than full Safari. Once the app is installed, I can open it from the shortcut, open one of the equipment items, and tap the image placeholder in to open the camera and take a picture. Tap Save, and I'm all set. So checking my timer, that took precisely 1 minute and 14 seconds including explaining what I was doing. Let's assume that my estimate on setting up maps was off by a factor of two. We still cut our time to distribute, install, and test our app by about 90%. Not bad for one little toggle switch. Want to find out more about OutSystems and PWA? Click the link above for more. Do you have some apps that could use the PWA treatment? Head over to try.outsystems.com and spin up a free development environment to see just how fast you can build a PWA application without systems. If you enjoy this video, please give us a like and subscribe to the OutSystems YouTube channel and be sure to hit the bell icon so you can be sure to be notified when we publish the next episode of Decoded Quick Hits. Thanks for watching.